Okay, so I've gotten most of my daily stuff done and I'm going to start working on haunted house stuff. Um, this is kind of like a part two video without a part one because we're like already halfway through this process and I didn't film the first part of it. So I'll explain what we did. We took, I made a stand with two two by fours uh, facing this way, this way, this way, so we make like what kids call now a hashtag. Um, and then I ran a PVC pipe up the middle of that and screwed it together. This is where we took a resin skull. I got mine off of eBay. It was like $15. Uh, we drilled a hole in the bottom of that and then we attached that onto the top of the PVC pipe. So now you have a stand to put your skull onto. We took uh, gallon milk jugs and placed them on top of the skull, took a heat gun on high and start with, start with about the top, uh, whatever part you're going to use. See, we only needed the face, so... We didn't need the back half done. If you need the back half done, you have to do that as well. But you heat that up until this plastic will turn like clear. When it turns clear, I took a sponge, then it's soaking in ice cold water. And once that goes clear, you smooth it to shape it. And you're gonna do that all the way around. Um, around the teeth, uh, we took, we used like a flat screwdriver. I used a knitting needle, cause that's what I had available and indent those so that way you get more definition and more detail okay so once that is done you're going to take a white spray paint obviously peel it off of the screen then you're going to take a white spray paint and spray the inside of the face here then take a black and you're going to spray any areas that are deep um so eyes nose around the mouth under the cheekbones here, and then I did like one spot on the skull. And this is where we're at now. So I've got a bag full of these here that we are going to start working on. I will show you the materials that I used, or am using, and then I will show you the process. So what you're gonna need is these at this step. You're gonna need lots for what we're doing. You will need I'm using mineral spirits because they're low odor since I'm doing it inside, otherwise you can use paint thinner. Another sponge. You will need, uh, I'm using a smaller brush, easier to work with, especially around the nose and the eyes and stuff. And then I got, I'll read the, the color off to you, it's a darker brown, you get a flat interior latex paint. Uh, this color is Dark Legacy Gold and it's the color place cheap, I think it was like $12, $13 at Walmart. Then you will also need a washcloth that is, has been, it's wet, it's damp. All right, let's show you how to make these. So our first step with these is we're gonna take either your mineral spirits or your paint thinner, whichever one you chose to do. So I have the non-scratch, there we go, get that in the camera, non-scratch pads here. And I'm just gonna take it, flip it over, so you get a little bit there. I have kids. Definitely close that, put that back. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to take off this black spray paint in the areas you don't want it. So if you were looking at a skull, you're thinking areas you're gonna see the bone and stuff. So you're gonna go. Okay, so I soaked it on this side, but I'm using the scrubber side here. You're going to go around the eyes, the bridge of the nose, clean up the forehead a little bit. And this doesn't have to be perfect, you'll be covering this, but the areas you really want to see the bone are what you're working on now. Okay, about that. Back around here on the other eye, and around this one doesn't have a lot of definition around the teeth so we'll show you another one that does but you're going to clean up where your teeth would be any of your basically any of your higher areas so the deeper areas would be you know your eye sockets your nose right here in the cheek area 
kind of clean up this a little bit over here. So if you just wipe it, you're going to get all those higher areas. They're going to come off. The paint is going to come off. And you can do that for the back areas, but the front of the face, I really like to be able to pick and choose what I want to pop out of there. Okay, I will find one, here we go, that has a little bit more detail in the teeth so you can see that one a little bit better. But if you just go over the teeth, it will clean off the surface of the teeth, but we'll leave, do you see that, how it's really getting the surface of it well, but it'll leave all your creases and stuff dark, which is exactly what you want. Our skull started to crack and it had a hole. So we've got indentions here where our skull cracked, where the top of the PVC pipe was sitting through. Um, a resin skull wouldn't do that. My daughter broke our resin skull, and so I pulled a skull that was out of our fish tank and used it because ordering one would take too long. And we need to get these guys done and knocked out so we can get the archway done. Okay, so there's what it's looked like, there, excuse me, is what it looks like when you have good definition and detail around the teeth compared to one where we didn't, you know, we didn't push in the plastic around those teeth as well. So you can see the difference there. Alrighty, we got the paint mixed up. It is nice and well shaken. Next, we are going to take, this is a one inch brush and I just went with cheap. I'm not looking to spend a whole lot of money on this project. I've got a lot invested already. So the area that we're gonna use is what I'm going to be painting. And like I said, we're just using the fronts here so if you are wanting a full skull, you are going to want to form this all the way around the skull that you have. However, we're going to be sticking these in an arch, so we don't need a full skull. We're going to go ahead and paint all the way around the area that you need. So the areas that I avoided are... The eyes, I did not paint inside the eyes. If you get a little bit, that's okay, it wipes right out. However, if you don't paint it, it's less to have to wipe out later. Don't mind if you have brush marks. You will be getting rid of those here in just a few minutes. This one's a little bit harder to hold on to. So here is what it looks like painted up. Set that aside. We're going to take our washcloth or paper towels, whatever you want to use. I just don't have paper towels. Okay, so we've got this damp here and we are just going to take it and blot it. And if you got any in the eye, I just take my finger, wipe that out. I got some in the nose, a little in that corner of the eye. And then struggling here to find a spot to hold this. Okay, so wipe the teeth. So that way we still have the white teeth. And then just continue to blot all the way around it. And there you go. He will dry up very nicely. And then you repeat a lot. Make lots of these. I'm excited to see the archway when it's all finished so I can show you guys. Okay, so we'll do one more so that way you can see. Got my paint. Again, we're just going to paint over the entire area. Avoiding the eyes, nose, as much as possible. As you are melting these, be careful when you pull them. So like when you start melting the top, if you no. apply a little bit of pressure and a downward motion, 
it will help to stretch that and take shape of the skull. Just be careful so that you don't tear it. Okay. So we've got him painted in the areas that we want color. Let's see, of course I got the eyes a little bit. So we'll wipe out the eyes and then Get off of the teeth. Side of my washcloth wasn't very wet. Off of the teeth, and then again we just go through and blot. So this one here, you can see the top part of the skull. That's where we had that indention from ours. And I did do some black there, so I'm gonna blot a little bit extra off there, so that way that dark really comes through on that. And then he is done. Alrighty, these seven have been painted. And then when my mom brings the rest of the back, which accumulate to being about 80 more or so, we'll have to get them painted. But for now, I am done with what I have here. Here are a few that we already have done, and you can see the difference in the skulls. This one here was the, my actual resin skull that I got off of eBay. And they're one of the first ones I did, so you can see I did form it all the way around the back. And those ones, I just cut a Y, so that way you can peel them off of the skull. Oops. This one came with a detachable, I guess it really wasn't detachable because I had to break it to get it off jaw at the bottom and I wasn't sure how I was going to form plastic around those. So I went ahead and took it off so you can see the difference here. This is the cast off of the one that I got out of my aquarium so it was closed all the way. And we were able to form that one and get both sets of teeth, top and bottom. Uh, size difference. So this is like almost actual realistic size. These guys are a little bit smaller. However, with what we are using them for, you will hardly notice. And when I was talking about the holes, oops, here we go. You can see right here where if you melt it too long, you get some holes on it. But that's all right if they're imperfect. You can see the holes in that one too. Alrighty, well, we have like a hundred more of these to get made up, so we will get these made up, and then when we start making the archway, I will film that as well.